Vocal control is amazing. Hey, welcome or welcome back to the Voice Savvy YouTube channel. So today we are going to be listening to Teddy Swims. And we're going to be listening to Lose Control. So yeah, let's get into it. I need to turn my volume up. Yes. Mm-mm, come on. <laughs> This is vibey already, isn't it? Right. Something's got a hold of me lately. No, mm. I don't know myself anymore. I love that grid and raspiness in his voice. Feels like the walls are all closing in and the devil's knocking at my door. Oh, out of my mind, how many times Ooh. did I tell you I'm no good at being it's taking a toll on mm. me Trying my best to keep from tearing the skin off my bones Don't you Come know on. I lose control oh. When you're not next to me Love those backing I'm vocals all right, let me stop it. Let's just come back to that first verse because I just want to talk about it. His voice has this incredible grit and raspiness to it, isn't it? I love it. He's basically using a technique called the gritty onset. So when he starts singing, his vocal cords come together with a bit more force. And that's what's creating that kind of rough textured sound that we're hearing in his voice. It's not just random raspiness that we're hearing. He's actually controlling the tension in his vocal cords to get that right amount of grit in his voice. It's like adding a a little bit of that sandpaper to his voice giving it that raw emotional quality isn't it and I love it it's so good it makes his performance also feel more intense and more heartfelt isn't it all right let's come back and let's just listen to it again because it was so good I'm loving the grit I'm loving the raspiness ah. um, <laughs> I don't know what that was but let's come back <laughs> Something's got a hold of me lately No, I don't know myself mm. anymore So you can hear the rough textured sound Feels like the walls are all closing in And the devil's knocking at my door mm. oh, I love this here Out of my mind, how many times oh. Did I tell you I'm no good at being alone? He's so good at controlling the tension in his vocal cords Try my best to keep from tearing the skin off my bones. Don't you know I lose control when you're not next to me? Ooh, I'm loving those backing vocals. His vocal timbre is very rich and full, isn't it? And it gives him this distinct, soulful sound. I love it. I'm getting so excited. I just love good singing. I love good singing. Oh, all right. Let's carry on. Oh. He's got excellent vocal cord closure. So just before we jump into the second verse, I just wanted to say that he's using a good, strong mixed voice, which is a combination of chest voice and head voice. And that's how he's able to maintain that strength and that resonance in his voice, you know? All right, let's carry on into, I think it's the second verse now that we're going from here. Gosh, all right, we're gonna talk about it. Wow, 
Wow, I love the melody and I love the flow of the second verse. But um, have you noticed how he really lifts his sound in this second verse? He gets slightly more nasal, almost like he's bringing in a little bit of that twangy quality. And he alternates between that clean and gritty sound. And I love the contrast, you know, I think it really enhances the song's emotional journey. So good. Let's come back. I want to listen to that verse again. I love it. I love the flow. And then we'll talk about his phrasing and his timing in a sec. But let's come back. Gosh, I'm vibing with this. I love his rhythm and phrasing. Oh gosh, feeling his voice. He has such a natural sense of timing, isn't it? He plays around with the rhythm, slightly altering the timing, and it adds that conversational, almost improvised feel to his singing. And it makes the lyrics feel more heartfelt, I think, and it brings in this spontaneity into his performance. I love it because I think it's so good for keeping us engaged, almost like on the edge of our seat because we don't know what he's going to do next, you know? All right. Gosh, I'm getting excited. He's got me down on my knees, darling, please. Oh, I lose control. His vocal control is amazing. You're not next to me. A delicate balance of tension. I'm falling on mm. my body. vocal control is amazing. He has that delicate balance of tension in his vocal cords to produce that gritty sound. Too much tension can cause strain in the voice, but he has just the right amount, you know, and he does it in such a healthy way. Love it. There's such a rawness and an authenticity to his voice, isn't it? And I love how he uses the gritty onset to really express the intensity of the lyrics. Loving this guitar solo. When you're not next to me ah. I'm falling apart right in front of you so amazing with his embellishments, isn't he? His riffs and runs are so clean and precise, and I love the way that he's not overdoing it. And you know, I feel like that just makes it so much more impactful. So powerful, I love it. Love his soprano as well. It adds that warmth to his voice. It's very controlled. Wow, I love the way it ends it there. Oh my goodness. I love Teddy Swim's voice. I love that grit. I love that raspiness. Wow, okay. Definitely gonna be checking out more of his stuff. Um, so expect more reactions on Teddy Swims on this channel. But if you liked this video, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, um, and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. Also check out our memberships. We have our Reaction Explorer and our VIP memberships for those of you that wanna get exclusive perks. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Until next time.